Hi, my friends. I hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy and staying safe. Um, today, we're going to continue learning about nonfiction texts, and we're going to learn about two new words today, and they're really important words when we're learning uh, and reading nonfiction books. And these words are fact and opinion. Fact and opinion. So, these words both have different meanings, and they're often used in nonfiction books, okay? So, a fact is something that can be proven true. Something that is definitely true, and we can prove that it's true. For example, Christmas is on December 25th. That is a fact because we can prove that it's true. So, th that's what a fact is. An opinion is something that we think or we feel. So we have our own opinions and everybody's opinion can be different. It could be the same, but it could be different. Whereas facts are always the same. They're always true. So an example of an opinion would be my favorite basketball team is the Toronto Raptors. Or I think the Toronto Raptors are the best basketball team. Okay, that's not always going to be proven true. That's just how I feel about that team. So that's an opinion. They're a little bit different. So we're going to do an activity today where you're going to read a few different sentences and you're going to have to decide, is that a fact or is that an opinion? Okay, so let's take a look at these two here. The first one says, Halloween is celebrated in October. Now, is that a fact? Is that something that can be proven true? Or is that an opinion? The way somebody feels or thinks about something. Halloween is celebrated in October. That would be a fact. So that would be a fact. And I'm going to write it in red. Keep it the same. Because Halloween is always October 31st. So it's always celebrated in October. It doesn't change. That's a fact. What about this one? Oreos are my favorite cookies. Hmm, is that a fact? Is that true? Or is that a personal opinion? That's a personal opinion. So that would be an opinion. Because that's the way Mr. Allen feels. And that's what I think but it might not be the same for everyone. So this is an opinion. Often, a little trick is if you see the word my, or my favorite, that usually gives it away that it's somebody's opinion. It's not a fact. So that's a little, little hint you can use to help you do your activity. So all you're going to do is open up the worksheet and you're going to type in whether you think that sentence is a fact or whether it's an opinion. Have fun and good luck.